Fnatic's pick, or at least prepared for it, <laughs> and it worked. But in comparison, I'm sure Mad Lions have got to be a little bit of a slouch. Let's see. They played it once and they've won it once. So 100%. That's, that's the stat I needed to hear. That's all they need going into this. But preparation, knowing this is most likely Fnatic's pick, can be at an all-time high. So let's see if Peacemaker and Co have been able to work any magic as barreling down mid with aggression once more. Let's see if they can push the Swedes early. Pushing in. Ooksy already gone. He wanted to bring the fight to Flasher, but Roy? Roy! He played anti. wanted to catch them as they pushed up second. This is chaos. The CT's so pushed up, but Flusher is just thriving in this environment. He's managed to operate a full triple kill. They are flooding into the site. Oh, he wants to finish off Flusher, but he refuses to give it to him. So the bomb goes down, and Acor has a very interesting angle from Krims to work with. Is he on top of the wall? Yeah. I can't believe Flusher, how patient he's being here. You'd think he'd want to go down as a bit of a canary in the coal mine. Is that going to draw him out to play? <laughs> Still doesn't. Still playing a very wicked game with Acor. Doesn't know where Flush is coming from. That's because of how little he was giving. Golden does convert his second. And Fnatic will take the pistol round. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Get your strong start. Convert off the back of that. So it would be in their interest now to uh, pick up the second round. You'll see Crims operating for full util and an SMG, which does indicate that they'll be looking to punish those gaps in the head armor. Full force from four members of the Mad Lion. They'll be seeing Acorn play a little more conservatively. Pursuing an AWP into the buys. Here we go. Okay, well, the smokes are fantastic for corralling teams where you want them to go, but a squad like Fnatic, being extremely well-versed on a map like this, don't tend to have too many dramas, and Banana will be one of the key areas of the map you hear us discussing. At the moment, you can see Roy and Hooksy are the two tasked with defending that, but I wouldn't be too surprised if they start lending A core over towards B to help with the AWP picks, because you can see two smokes have already been milked out from Banana, and Golden wants to do even more damage and disruption. Now, traditionally, it will be Golden and Flusher working this area of the map, and they can do so without utility on their own with the SMGs, and that just makes life so difficult. If you can't stop Flusher and Golden, well, then you have to deal with the likes of Bri uh, Crims and Brolin over towards the apartments and boiler positions on their A-side default. It's a tough task. It's a tall task, and right now they've rotated four players over to be to deal with this execute. Yeah, but they've got all the right pieces in the right place, but just sprayed down. Oh, that boost got them nowhere and nothing is working for the Danes. Roy's Deagle certainly functional, oh. but quickly caught. Golden, four kills. Just two rounds into Inferno. The only man left it was the A Lurk. Still sticking around in the middle. I find, look, I obviously want to see the first gun round approach to, to have a real idea of what Mad Lions are going to be looking like for their defense. But the reason, and the same thing we said the other day when we were so surprised to see Fnatic float that map in the veto, is just if you, if you take Fnatic on a map like this, especially their T sides, and you consider how well they play their mid rounds after they get map control, and I highlighted it the other day, we'll probably highlight it again today if we see it, but they are really good at, these uh, rotations of the CTs forcing you into awkward positions, making you double guess. You go for gamble stacks where you pick the wrong site, and they can leave it very late as well. Fnatic can show indication one moment on 30 seconds left and then be on the other bomb site planning at A before you know it. So let's wait and see how much prep and how much practice Mad Lions could have possibly had in that small amount of time on Inferno. This would be a very massive victory if they do pick up this series 2-0. It's likely we'll be, we'll be heading to Mirage's map number three as the decider of this series. But in saying that, Vertigo started extremely slow for Mad Lions. Maybe Inferno will be the same. Deagle out, Whoa. Deagle down. Flusher, entry, kill, and nade to follow. So a good chunk of damage being splashed onto both Hooksy and Roy. Yeah, that was less a splash, more a crash. That really hurt. And these won't. Get any easier for the uh, CTs here. Refresh is just isolated now on that site. No one wants to be sitting there unarmored with a default pistol against four Fnatic members. And that's exactly the reality that he's about to be living in. Poor old Refresh. Gone but not forgotten in a matter of seconds. 
And that's the round, ladies and gentlemen. Bomb will go down and just these unarmored pistols remain. Flush is about to get a double kill. Okay, one's not bad. Golden will finish off Hooksy and Crims onto Roy. So all in all, a quick three rounds. And yet to frag the three players on the Mad Lion side, Shush, Hooksy and Refresh. No damage done or at least none that have uh, turned out to be a frag as I've just taken a quick note of the buys. Acor does have the AWP. Not a single diffuse kit purchased up here. So if we get into a post-plant situation, Mad Lion's maybe looking for a save in round number four. AKs are out. MAC-10's being carried on through in Brolin's and Golden's hands. Let's see. So they want to use those aggressively. Brolin's over towards second middle. And this is aggressive down mid. Hooksy's very quick with this. And three players ready to fight second middle. Do they spot Brolin? I assume so. Yeah, he will get Molotov out. He tries to smoke it. Crims tries to get some... Warning shots fired. JW's low as well. This so this CC aggression does work. They actually dunk down J-Dubs. And Brolin, spurred on by the call, is going to charge up to try and meet his squad on B. Denying the smoke. Moon walks in. Oh, he tries to get both of them. It's Flusher that finds the double. I thought this was surely going to shape up well for Mad Lions after all of that aggression. A failed smoke may be something, but Bomb's already down. Crims has made sure of that. Lot to unpack there, but do Mad Lions want to go for this? No kit. Oh, oh there's an opening. Now they will. Flusher hadn't quite tucked into new box, and Acor's able to punish. Krim's using that smoke to his success. He's faded now. Fades the flash. And Acor gets another. What a retake. An AWP retaking the B site. It's Brolin to clutch. They fake it. They line up. Okay, a chance. A very big one. Started to present. Don't forget, no kit. As Chad highlighted, with the bomb down, you'd have thought that favored Fnatic, but Acor, he denies. And a 10 second defuse puts the first on the board for the Mad Lions. All right, well, Mad Lions need to take a very deep breath right now and work out what type of buy they want to go into round five with because getting through the skin of their teeth just there, they don't have all the weapons to work with. Meanwhile, this was merely a bonus from Fnatic. They get the bomb down again. They stimulate that economy and Acor, well, we didn't see huge things out of him on Vertigo, but that's massive on the retake here. And Fnatic probably feeling like they should have been able to put that one away after how the round began. There was chaos towards A. They had to lean four players. There was the opening onto the site. The AWP for JW will be picked on up. And I want to see the head-to-head -head between him and Acor, both quite explosive AWPers. That's where Acor's been left, towards the top of Banana. Take a look at the radar in the top left. You can see it's a four-man lean from Mad Lions over towards the A bomb site. We still have a minute and 25 remaining on the clock. So if Acor gets harassed whatsoever, there's a start. Yep, Acor. He could go down and there's trouble. He's not moving? I'm surprised. Vulnerable to a nade exactly where that first one landed, but he's assuming Fnatic wouldn't count on someone just staying put. Golden. Starting to advance, and this is quite the crossfire. He'll be walking into Util's going to determine the outcome. Pre-fires Roy, and nearly gets Hooksy. Oh, wow. Just like that. The round is won. The round is done. Acor left alone. It might even be Flusher that's waiting for him. Acor's got the quick reactions to at least keep hold of his weapon. Good luck, my friend. Well, he nearly did the cool move. Well, they still have to get the bomb, so if they didn't actually smoke this, maybe there could have been a couple more in the shooting gallery, but... He has to worry about his flank. Guess who's already in CT? It's Golden. He's coming to lock this one off. So Acor, there's no avenue of escape. How are you getting out of this one? Killing Golden and hiding in our coffins. Oh. Okay, 35 seconds to hold on to the AWP. The vice grip is coming, all sides. <laughs> it's a fun mini game for Acor here. The AWP save simulator. 20 seconds. My eye. Oh. <laughs> Alien attempt from Acor. Hunted from every angle. And some of the most experienced hunters in the business. Oh, fanatic. Yeah, and Mad Lions now, even though they did manage to muster around, they're in a bit of financial trouble. This was a great job clearing out towards top middle from Fnatic. You can see that Molotov had locked them in. The smoke also segregated that arch side defense. And I did like 
the way that Mad Lions wanted to approach that round. I think considering the weapons they had, Acor with all the banana control that he was able to pick up with the AWP, having the four men trying to lock down mid control against Fnatic, it makes a lot of sense. They can't toy with the rotations if you lock top middle. But if you don't get any kills, well, you're giving them the round right there and then. So Mad Lions have taken the save. Have two HEs, but can't lob them out with that molly. Managed to get one over the half wall. Clash have baited that one. And Acor, he's been taken down by Brolin. So it seems like it's a four-man pack again with Acor and his lonesome. And this time, it'll just be a blender from Golden. Three to his name. Flusher finishes it off. And that's 5-1 on the scoreboard now is we do have Hooksy yet to frag. And I mentioned before, he did have a rough time on train versus Na'Vi. Bit of a slower start from him here. Maybe Mad Lions need to lose a bunch of rounds here before they get going. Buy back through. This time we have a kit, just a single one in the hands of Shush. Utility is light for Acor, but he does have the AWP. And this is a decent buy from Mad Lions. I wouldn't say they have everything they would like, but they're as close as they're going to be going into round seven. Scoreline five to one. And Acor wants a pick. Scoped up so the sound cue can't be heard. And he knows that Brolin and Crims love to default boiler and holes. If he finds yeah, an but... and gets away. <sighs> what a gamer. He wants the bedroom fight. And he does get it. He oh, tags Brolin and loses his life. Can't help but feel he's a bit hard done by there. He fired his bullet and he connected it, but CSGO not on Acor's side tonight. Five oh. to one already in favor of Fnatic and losing the star Orpa in the seventh round of play certainly ind indicates this one will be up against the odds. Uh, look at this. This is exactly the smoke I'm talking about. Stay with Golden Forest Rush while we round the corner. This smoke right here, it makes it so difficult with the rotations for the CTs. You have to play over towards Speedway and that leaves... Well, plays like this open. Hooksy's 2 2 onto the B site. Golden now making noise, and it will be the B split. It's a good find. Ash, very good find. It means they can focus all of their attention on this B pincer. Hooksy's hoping they walk through the smoke. Or maybe as it fades, he can catch them with guns now. Oh, just unloads. He's fully flashed, and Roy's there with him, desperately spraying. Roy's got them both. Looks like Mad Lions have managed to stabilize. And Refresh is coming up behind. JW wasn't ready. They got the AWP as well, so Shush has picked that up. They'll be able to get that back in Acor's hands, and this is good because, uh, look, it's obviously very early, and a lot of people out there are going to, you know, consider what I'm about to say to be a little bit silly. But with Mad Lions being a new team, if they are going to lose Inferno, I think for the betterment of them in the series, it's better if they lose the map in a more of a blowout fashion than it to be super close and bad for their mental state. Like if, if they're, you know, up and it's close and they lose a couple of close ones because of poor communication and retakes or yeah. something like that, then I think that will frazzle them going into a long series. Well, yeah, especially because we've got a whole third map awaiting. Should Fnatic pick this one up? Crims has the Krieg again. I really am interested to see some use out of this. Yeah, we haven't had a round yet, have we? from Crimson's Krieg. I mean, we've had the buy, just haven't had the success, and Roy's gone down. Yes, it's just getting peppered through that smoke. Huge, again, every time we, ju just as we're about to start writing Mad Lines out of a round, or start suggesting a foreboding feeling, Refresh bails him out, and he's been found by Gold and denies it through the molly. Here coming, A. Eh? Flush has got the responsibility of Banana, as always. There's the Crim's Krieg. And this one just feels all too easy for Fnatic. They're getting the 1v1s. Everyone's winning their duel. And again, it's Acor and Banana just wondering what he's supposed to do. Yeah, you can just see how comfortable Fnatic look on the T side here. Obviously, it helps getting kills through smoke, through the boards. <laughs> uh, you love those. You'll take those every day of the week. And now at this point, they may as well start chasing and see if they can find Acor and the AWP. Crimson is already on the look, on the hunt. Acor trying a bit of a different position this time round, tucked in towards the tea side house and the kitchen, but that's where Crims is coming from. So if he is extremely diligent here and clears all these corners, he will find Acor, but that's the question. Will Crims search every little nook and cranny? Yes, he will, but the orb rings out. That's a big frag for Acor, but now the jig's up. They know where he is. They can hunt him down. They can try and isolate, and JW is doing exactly that. He's going to Molotov him out of position here. That's going to land a little bit too deep. So Acor 
He'll get to stand his ground. Bomb will go off and he should hold on to the AWP unless JW does that. <laughs> We've had a couple of tense AWP saves. We had JW's denied. This time he's the one to do the denying. Oh, that's so frustrating right there as Let's Mad Lions have taken a timeout. This was a, just a straight spray, straight through the smoke. And JW, I can't believe he's gone away with that. That's murder right there. That, that is, is Assassin's Creed <laughs> style. Jumping off the bridge. Oof. <laughs> all right, all right, you earned that one. A shrug of the shoulders. Oh, dear. Two to six. That's the first time I've called by Mad Lions, and I'm certainly intrigued to know what the conversation leads to. Will there be a buy? Three members on sketchy situations. 2,900 loss bonus. It's like that horrible middle ground. It likely will be MP9s and rifles. I, I, if, if they feel that they need all the goodies, I'm talking a full buy for everybody, it will just be this partial limping that we're seeing. So, Seven two, Chad. I'm I getting... know, I know. But look, if they can get back and get six in the half, it's it, yeah. it gives them a chance to win, pistol, and convert. It's just, I, I think that a huge part of keeping Fnatic honest is forcing them through all the utility and banana. So we're talking multiple Molotovs, multiple HEs. You need your smokes to crowd control, so you don't just have to rely on one player to be there. You don't need to put the bodies forward. And they've opted here to make sure they do get that full buy. Now look, they are putting themselves in a bit of a hole. But maybe they can make a meal of this one. A meal is a bad thing. And uh, they got two kills. That's not terrible. Gonna just be the last three members of Mad Lions rotating in to do any more financial damage. They're using their smokes. They may as well give this one a crack. Low HP on Golden and Flusher. There's always a world, but if they get a move on now, they might be able to find more. Yeah, JW's just taking pot shots and they're not too far off. Ooh, pushing through the smoke, wildly spraying. It's not a good look. They're giving it all she's got though, and that's a big frag from Acor. Need to get someone on the bomb. Now they it. find it. And I think they've got the time. It's right on the nose, though. Pick up the guns you can and get on out of dodge, because if you don't have it, you don't want to be going down with the bomb. Acor's getting a move oh, on. This is going to be close. So close. No! Half a second in it. Fnatic take it. I thought they had enough. Acor did the right move to pull himself out the site, but for a half buy, it goes down to a complete and total elimination of Fnatic. It's keeping their money honest a little bit, shaving some frags off. But look at this. Let's see if there was a second delay oh. in it. Oh, look at this. Caramba, that's nuts. Yeah, you're going to be really disappointed with how that one unfolded. That was a very good attempt there from Mad Lions. Well, let's see if this having all the Ghiblis helps. They're going for a mid charge. Look at this. Three members of Fnatic charging forward, but they've got Banana. That's one way to do it, Chad. Just fight. Okay, well, they've given up a lot of territory over towards A. Immediately, Fnatic Oh, look at the punish. Way. They are punishing hard. Acor, what can you do? He's got to hold library side. Just responsible for short. The Molly's in the side as well. Acor's in the flames. Roland, that's really, really important. Julie's taking. Shush is trying to keep him at bay. A flash long for his teammate. And that's important again with Refresh's impact. He's found two frags from the CT arch and he's completely cut them down, slowed them down. Fnatic no longer have an advantage. And they think they're pinned in as well. Expecting the push to have come all the way down Banana just to lock them in place. You can see the eyes trained as JW searches with the AWP. He has a chance here. When's he going to fire? Jump again, Hooksy. I dare you. Oh, what? Rollin with 30 HP wins the duel. Now Shush is tagged. He could burn. Shush needs one here. Otherwise, Acor can easily get overwhelmed. Rollin's coming from apps. A smoke deployed at the perfect time. They have to, have to find Shush. He's desperately pre firing and he finds the one he needed. Oh Acor, the Deagle switch, phenomenal. Crims shuts him down. Numbers do favor the CTs. Refresh into the site. Crims has the bomb and he's got time. We saw what he's capable of a 1v4 versus complexity not too long ago. Oh, he's expecting on top of the box. Refresh is tucked in on the corner. Has he called it clear in his brain? He has, he has. He assumed it was clear. And so Refresh with even more impact. I'd love to see that Acor double. Yeah, jumping up on the box there. Massive risk for Acor to take, but a very essential one. As that was a round of chaos, he is it leaping oh. up. Whoa, trying to save his teammate Shush in the pit and even the follow-up with the Deagle. So we spoke about his movement. We spoke about how flashy Acor can be, and that's the impact he's going to need going forward in this half. Able to sal salvage that AWP yet again. Are uh, the Mad Lions.
But Fnatic shouldn't be too disappointed with that. I know that their money now is a little bit more disarray because of how close round number nine was, all their bodies going down. But they're controlling this game. Seven to three is the scoreline. You've got Golden leading the charge, and we said we wanted to see more from his impact. Well, 14 kills to the name. You're seeing it here, and Fnatic will be taking a tactical timeout to discuss their options. I think that they could invest here, you know, with Mac 10s again and have quite a quick paced round to things if they want. I feel like B is an easy bomb site for them to punish. Hooksy and Roy holding over towards that bomb site, and Hooksy only has one kill. So that's something to keep in mind. Maybe they'll look for more punishers, as it will just be one of those partials. Two Tech Nines. A Glock for JW, Eagle for Flusher, and a Mac 10 in the hands of Krim. So this one here could get competitive. It's a very early Molotov towards top mid, and I think that's in response to these smokes that we've seen thrown out from Fnatic to crowd control over towards Arch. <sighs> Huge oh, shot. Oh, oh. Takes the time to adjust. Catch has got one through the wall. Look at the wrist. The look at the wrist. They are charging up towards Banana, though, and there is a very passive hold on Banana, so... Utility in vain and limited utility at that. Fnatic will try and finish on that B site, or at least posturing to do so. Grimms could contact this, you know, walk up, see how much he'll get. It, it's potential that Refresh will have a look. He's currently anti, but as the utility starts to get deployed, it seems all the more likely that Crims won't find too much. Yeah, meets Roy, quickly traded. Refresh continues to save Mad Lions. A quick triple, stopping that from getting out of hand. It's good to see Refresh in such like a rock position. And, and we've spoken about him in the past. He's had a bit more experience. He played in an Optic roster with Tessus of Heroic fame. MSL was on there. Config who's now with Complexity. Uh, and Nico of Heroic as well was part of that roster, I do believe. So you're going back to, to playing with some of the, the Danish stars of current days. He even got a chance to stand in, uh, in lieu of Golden, in the Cloud9 roster in a Blast tournament. And uh, going all the way back to Frags, this is where we first remember Refresh. So he's had quite a career in a short period of time, but now he's getting a shot again towards the upper echelons. And that's with Mad Lions, who they won a couple more rounds. And they might have a chance to do so. An average looking by from Fnatic, a Galil. And damage done from the Silence Dem 4 down to one of the AKs. So you've got Crimson and Deagle. Golden hemorrhaging a little bit in the early stages. Utility is looking pretty, and we might see Fnatic go back for that mid control where they won against that four stack. So expect a Molotov over towards Porch, Smoke towards Arch. And once they get Brackets control, they can start playing out this mid round. There's the Mollies. Oh, he has to be careful. Speculative shots through the smoke has seen him go down towards Banana and nade harassment towards top mid. Man Lions has to be ready for a play like this. The flash is good, the pressure's on. And Roy loses his head fast. That's a big double Again. from Refresh. He keeps delivering another. Three kills from him, his timing. Just swings into quad at the perfect moment. And Fnatic left breathless. He's bailing him out of some big situations here. This should be five. And I say should because if anybody you want to be alive in a clutch situation, it would be Flusher. We saw Mad Lions drop an absolute sitter the other day to Simple and his brilliance. Flusher only has 25 seconds to work with and a Galil in hand, but if he takes down Hooksy, that's going to open the B bomb site. The nade, it's going to give away the plan, the smoke to delay, but Flusher has to push and he will. Hooksy deals with it. That'll be the last kill of the round. And it'll be the second there for Hooksy, the new in-game leader of Mad Lions, as Mad Lions now are up to five rounds. So we're starting to get a half out of this. Here's Refresh with the save. It feels like he's a goalkeeper. You know, he's just there defending the net at all times, making sure that they're not letting too many in. And we get back underway. Just the pistols for Fnatic here. Four Deagles, a Glock for Flusher. And aggressive orping from Acor. I think we saw JW hit that shot against Poison. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so Acor needs to be careful. It's definitely in his repertoire. Good nade. Just softens up any of the uh, second mid arrivals.
big decision to make there as well for JW. I know it seems like it's just a Molotov, but he could either play forward of that and get mopped on up or drop back. So they want to have a bit of survivability here, Fnatic. More utility being thrown on out from Mad Lions. Just left with two smokes, a handful of flashes and a HE. So Fnatic are making this one costly and they're yet to find any kills. As soon as all this utility has transpired, then it just becomes about the jewels. And while well, there's every chance these Deagles can hit some headshots, Fnatic's How aimed dare you? Point. How dare you build this round up? Well, I feel there's a chance. There's always there's a chance. I mean, there's always a chance, but <laughs> Mad Lions, they do have a bit of a situation. Seems like that situation's been resolved. You'll never guess who. The usual candidate. Bailing him out. Triple kill. Issue solved. Golden, just the last man, and he's the one on the other side of the map, just locked out by their smoke, hoping... You can find something before he goes down. It doesn't look too likely as the speculative shots in the smoke continue. Oh, he's been found brought down to seven just as it fades. All right, Mad Lions are doing exactly what we saw on Vertigo, turning it around on that CT half, albeit a little later this time. If they get eight here, Alex, I'm going to be very impressed because this is one of the best maps for Fnatic. I mean, this was, let me get it right, seven to two. Hmm. So seven to two now sitting at the potential for an equalizer. Yeah, and I'm very surprised to see it. And and look, this is a CT bias map, but once again, Mad Lions haven't had a long time as a unit since the addition of Hooksy and Refresh. And they're going up against a Fnatic who, let's be honest, they haven't had the best results in the last couple of months whatsoever. But you would still have to consider this team dangerous, right? They're a team who, if they're all hitting their form, they could win a trophy. They're, they're not at that point where you look at these players and go, oh, they're burnt out. You're not getting constant, terrible Never. performances. They're always threatening. And it's because they have just, I, I think, a wealth of experience within the core of the team. They still are able to maintain fantastic performances of the likes of Crims. We saw that just the other day when he literally stood there and had a boxing match with Crims, uh, with Config, sorry, on Inferno, just going... Like round after, even you in rounds. Harder, yeah. yeah. And uh, we know what Brolin can do. An absolute little animal. We do have a bit of a pause. Rush, what are the server conditions looking like down there on the field? They're looking pretty good. Uh, there was a few things typed in the chat. Uh, there was a monitor problem for Hushush. Uh, however, Flusher is changing his VPN right now, and it looks like Flusher has connected, so we'll be underway shortly. Wonderful. Um, anything else going in uh, for you, Rush? How are you feeling today? Not much. Everything's going pretty all right. Just chilling out, having a good time. I think I might maybe play some Danger Zone lane. I'm not sure, though. How'd you feel about the Danger Zone games last night? Yeah, they were pretty good. We had some very rough times in a lot of early game situations, but if we made it to late game, we won them. Lots of ground warriors last oh, night. Oh, a lot. Everyone's a ground warrior these days. We see some bumpers every now and then. You got kind of goombered yesterday in a little way, but... Uh, you know, it happens. It does happen. Yeah. Yeah, no, he surfed on top of my head. Yeah. That wasn't a great death. <laughs> I didn't like that one. All right, well, we're not back underway just yet, but hopefully not too long. As you can see, Crims has opted in for that Krieg again. And maybe you're newer to Counter-Strike and you think, well, you saying it's not a good gun. Why is he buying it? Well, we haven't seen teams really opt to use it a lot since it's been nerfed. Now, 2019 was the year of the Org and the Krieg, and they ran rampant throughout competitive CS, the scope as well as the firing rate, I guess the uh, penetration with the org as well against the head armor was such a good reason to buy it as well as that price point. So things have been changed. Valve have nerfed it all. I suppose tried to balance it. The org, we're definitely seeing more and more use on the CT sides. Yeah. But the Krieg, uh, it's going to be more of a specialist gun. And, and to see it used on Inferno, that's quite curious to me. The firing rate has been nerfed significantly. The scope does help, but, you know, I can see, okay, maybe if I used it on Nuke in Yard and I want to take some fights against Orpers or Train, and then let's say I go down Pop Dog and I want to fight someone towards Ivy or Ivy down the lane. There's a couple of options there that I think might be suitable. But on Inferno, I just want to see what Crimson has been working on because I know he's a monster. He wouldn't be buying it unless he had a good reason to. Yeah, I imagine must be working out well in practice. We'd probably get, you know, if we were to ask about it, he'd just go, yeah, it's a good gun. I like I tried it in practice, you know, and he's probably had a couple of good games on it that we haven't seen that haven't yeah. been in the public uh, domain. And it's enough to convince him to whip it out here in the uh, officials. This was Flush's ridiculous smoke shot, just using that tracer fire and his own big brain to time that spray. JW was up to some crazy antics, denying orbs, saved by Acor. And all round, it started very strong. I remind you, 7-2. In fact, there's the scoreline. This is when things started to shift thanks to Acor's spanking. Deagle 
And then we see Mad Lions and Refresh in particular, really with some yeah. impact frags. I think this is a great actually highlight reel just to kind of display the match so far. Some real impact felt. And, and the scoreboard tells that story as well. It is as easy as, as one, two, three, his average damage per round. 16 kills as well for Refresh. So him and Acor with 30 frags combined, oh, the rest nice. of his team have what, 12? Let yeah. me see. Yeah, 13. So I'm still just waiting to get this one back underway. Shush has rejoined, hopefully not too long. And what we'll do is uh, we'll give you guys a bit of a, a schedule update tomorrow. Uh, we've had to move some things around. The 3 o'clock start time for Na'Vi versus Team Spirit has been moved to 6.30. That's CET. And uh, the Team Vitality versus Fnatic or Mad Lions game, that's the winner of this one right here, has been moved to the following day. That will be Thursday, the 12th of November. And that one's start time will be 3 p.m. CET. So if you are worrying or wondering when those games were going to go down, that's just a little schedule adjustment as we're back underway here in round 14. Aggressive again. We saw this play earlier. It didn't quite work out. Can it this time as Refresh doesn't get the entry. JW gets the better and Shush. Woo. Oh, he gets the trade. Woo. There's Shush waking up. Doubles his kills in a matter of seconds. And well, got a little lustful for the next. It was JW that denies the third and he gets himself the equalizer. Acor's on this side alone. There's no worse weapon for the job than the AWP, but maybe in his hands he can make some magic happen. All comes down to timing and what his gut tells him to move. Yeah, he's so, so vulnerable to balcony. I, I completely understand his passive stance. Now dropping his util, wants to get the Fnatic squad on their toes. Moving back towards balcony and what an adjustment. Catches Golden's cursory glance. And that enables Acor now to tuck on in. Still coming forward. I thought they might drop away from the AWP and be a little bit scared, but it looks like Fnatic want to try and push the issue on the A bomb site. Oh, I say that, of course. Flush is going for a bit of a fakey boy maneuver, dropping out whatever smokes he can. He's hoping that makes him think it's a B rotate. Oh, a call. Dude, JW. I don't know if spotted him. I, I don't think so. I think he was looking to clear pit. Acor has info now. Info that Fnatic are not aware of. So all this time passing, it only enables the rotate more. Jiggle. Oh, and finds the angle. That's big from JW. The bomb will be on its way to be planted. JW did get brought down to 23, but look at the moves. Gets himself up on graveyard. A complete repositioning as the bomb goes down. There could be a gap in their communications now, Roy. Is he ready for JW in graveyard? No, he's not. And that's another frag for the, the Swede. He's on for the ace. He's having such a game here. Big brain plays. Fuxi's down and it's JW with four and a half. Flusher denies the ace, but it's all Fnatic anyway. Eight for them as they do find the necessary. It's been a while since we saw JW's name in the feed from oh, four wow. kills. Takes the first while flash. This was the second. Woof. <laughs> all right, JW. That second shot was nuts. Well, great stuff here from JW. You can see just how comfortable he was moving around the map. No drama, circle jumping out of halls, getting his way up in towards graveyard and stealing a round away from Mad Lions who worked hard with their initial aggressive maneuver. And this time they've gone for another gamble. Four men over towards the top of Banana. Lots of nades down towards the base. Some flubbed HEs, but all in all, it's just to set up Roy and Hooksy for the second wave for that second drubbing of utility down Banana. But nobody's home to receive. The other one's actually copying the damage as eventually nades will be lobbed down through the smoke. Golden now forcing the issue up with the MAC-10. Got to be careful of this here, Mad Lions. If they overstay, they're welcome. Golden might just run in. Yeah, one would imagine so. Bit of a fake being sold there. As you can see, the rotation's now been drawn out of B. hooksy has been left alone. Roy's actually floated all the way into spawn, and Hooksy might go down here. I think he will. Yeah, he's very vulnerable. They might just throw Golden at him. <laughs> and he has, actually hits a flashed off shot onto Hooksy. It's not enough to convert the kill, though. You stay level. There's the typical Fnatic smoke chance been banging on about. And there is the response. Refresh has to have a little look. JW was holding it. And now they can use that smoke to wrap straight into Acor. Got a lot of moves to make. He is going to strafe over and use this elevated position to have a bit of an element of surprise. He misses his shot, though, and Crims is ready to punish. I like the idea. Roy, Hoogsy. B site's yours. You've got to prove it, though. And there's the bomb. Nearly converts. Dinks him up. 
It's going to be a question of timing for Hooksy, but Flusher just solves the problem. 9-6 on the half. JW's final shot rattling through. But Mad Lions, they close the gap at least. See what the second half has in store. Four, we return with IEM Beijing online. Crims and Fnatic. Nine to the good on their map pick. Trying to take it to the Mad Lions, whose vertigo performance caught everyone a little off guard. Ashley, how are you feeling about your prediction, mate? Um, not very good. Who did you go for? Fnatic. You, oh, not feeling good. You, you think we could see a, a Mad Lion swing here on the T side? I definitely think so, yes. Uh, Refresh uh, is looking crisp. He is, he certainly is. But this is T side. We've definitely seen well drilled T sides from Mad Lions uh, in the past. Let's see if this T side pistol fills us with confidence. As uh, I've seen many a CZ tear up on uh, A takes. Brolin just parks himself in towards that bedroom position and gets three kills. I've seen it many times. I wonder if today. We get another CZ spray down on a pistol round. Well, they're noisy. He's yeah, heard he heard them. it. And it is a chance for JW. He gets away, and that's half the victory already. But is it all fate? They just completely... Oh, my God. I love it. They forced out a lot here for the Fnatic side of rotation, utility. They've got ants in their pants, and it's a quick B here. The smoke's already smoke CT. CT from spawn. You can see the trail of it. Perfect pop flash. Gets them into the site. The smoke oh. rises them. Golden does do well as E-Bunny hops successfully away. But the bomb will get planted. And now, 
It's down to Mad Lions. It's down to Hooksy as well. He's got mo he's got a lot to hold. He does find him. Now it gets interesting. Pushing in. Roy needs a fresh mag. Acor too. Crim's oh. long range. Hooksy's having a pistol. And Roy is there for the ride as well. A double for both of them. Mad Lions, they handled that. They had a numbers disadvantage for that retake, but it didn't feel like it. That's exactly what Mad Lions needed in this game. And they took the fight to Fnatic. If they sat back at the site, the USPs would have closed them on down and Hooksy with some impact. He had a quiet first half, but you can see how important that is. The coach Peacemaker celebrating loud enough for the entire team and Fnatic have to opt in with the four spy. Pistols for them. This is going to be a special round because Fnatic and the four spies on the second, well, they have a history together. And if Mad Lions can get through this one cleanly, in similar fashion as to what they did on their CT side of Vertigo, we have a game. But if they wobble here, if they get tested and drop this one, I fear that the Danes might be quickly being pushed out of map number two. Yeah, there's a lot riding on this one. I completely agree. Hooksy copped a lot of Molotov damage there as well. Here comes he's the Pokeball from Flasher. Who do you reckon? I think he's going to cop it right down the gob here, old Hooksy. He's distancing himself comfortably. Socially? Socially as well. Now, hoping that that single smoke would be enough to uh, bait Flush's nade out. <laughs> he is standing vigilant. Not giving him anything. Oh, go on. That nade would have done so much damage. It still will. Oh. Boom! No, that is horrible for oh. three members. Using the smoke to get it out. Oh, they're in so much trouble now, Mad Lions. Oh, man, it doesn't feel like they just won the pistol. Not at all. Suddenly, they're the ones at the disadvantage. There's more where that nade oh. came from, just to soften them up even more. Okay, Hootsy, he does draw first blood. They're heading back to B. It was Shush, excuse me. They got that frag. This is so dangerous, though. Golden has the deagle. Belly shots is all he needs. Brolin's taking space. He's going to call this. They're going to be able to keep two players on the B bomb site and rotate over very quickly. Golden gets a really clean shot onto the first offense. It will likely be refresh. Alex Flusher has a nade. Oh my God, he does. If he does get the right timing, Hoops, he does well onto Golden. That nade load no longer as much of a threat. Eight seconds, if he can deny that plan. Oh, oh he's, no. he's going to. He's, low. he's done it. He wins the round with the nade alone. There's no time. Just like that, the Pokeball comes back with a vengeance as does Brolin's Deagle. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Roy's got a hundred bucks. Oh, Dies no. after time as well. That is nightmare scenario. Absolute oh, worst case. Oh, wowzers, trousers. It's Hooksy, of course. Roy was right there as well. He could have caught the nade as well. Oh, boy. That for uh, Mad Lions uh, is going uh, to be gut-wrenching. And the laugh of Golden uh, says it all. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. That all comes down to the early damage that Hooksy took in Bananas to the Molotov. He gets softened up as the round goes on and Mad Lions, they look like they had recovered, but now they have to force by back. Now they have to try and contest with Fnatic on their comfort zone. It looks like it's going to be a three-man halls pop here as they've quickly taken space. A minute 30 on the clock and two towards Pit and Balcony to receive. Fnatic is set up. Good handling of the first, but Brolin eventually, okay, gets his double. Not the prettiest. Didn't need to be, doesn't need to be. Hang on. Wait. Roy and Refresh have just taken down two of the hardest hitters. MP9 stops the bomb plant, but there are still better weapons on the T side, and Roy continues to pop off. Three kills, this time with the rifle. The Tech 9 did the first two. Flusher, can you clutch up? He's already won one round with his nade. Now he can win it with the MP9. He knows. Roy's in graveyard, a fake plant. He's been spotted out. He's desperately hoping to catch Roy. Don't forget, no armor. They can lose this. And he's oh, already dunked him down HP. to one HP. This is so scary. He's pushed in and Acor takes the head off, but Flusher is a Disney villain. He oh. really is. It's just a foreboding feeling when he's in the server. Uh, I think, you know, for Roy right there, after going down in the previous with no loss bonus to get three massive kills, for his confidence sake, that has to be huge. You can see here flashed on up and then able to control the rotations and then the final frag from the site here, popping up his head, the famous from Acor. Oh, God damn, what a game. What a game, what a game. Well, this is actually really good news now because the money situation for Fnatic, it's not great. They've now been put back down to the min loss bonus of 1,400. They will opt in with a force again, but if this can be better handled and with pace this time from Hooksy, oh, an opening, make it a second. He's reloaded on the go and oh, it costs no. them their life. 
Two Deagle kills on the repeak. They stacked two, make it four members on B. It is going to charge into A, though. So unless Brolin's Deagle's really well sharp. Interesting. There's a gap in that. Yeah, he tries to exploit it, but now they know there's a Deagle on site, and it's shush to find him. Oh, How handles. the bomb can go down. Do they want to give this a shot? They've saved an M4. Well, they picked up an M4, but holding it through to the next round might be the best option. So Flush has been given the, the fun job of do as much damage as he can. If he goes back through Banana, he can find a Mac 10 Okay. So maybe that's what he's looking for. That's less exciting. But what is exciting is JW can drop a Deagle. If Flusher gets the Mac 10 he can drop a Deagle as well. And a round that was going to be a full eco becomes more and more interesting. So exactly that. You're going, hello, I found it. There you go. Working as a team. Who would have thought? JW and Flusher. One of the longest standing duos we have in Counter-Strike. Actually, they've been split up for a little while. Yeah, but we just forget about that. Yeah, that, that was like the bad breakup. Yeah, it doesn't exist. Yeah. You, know, you know, like when they say like, how long have you guys been together? And they say, well, like, well, five. Well, we dated and then. So it's like five years yeah. really total, but like yeah. probably one. Yeah. <laughs> you always hear that conversation. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, at least this buy is looking decent for Fnatic. It could have been just the USPs or just a couple of upgraded P250s, but instead they actually have somebody. Okay, Mad Lions, everybody just working promise on something. me, Mad Lions, you won't lose to this. Please, man. Please, man. Hey, Rush, give us your best please, man. Please, man, please. It's better. It's good. This is quite nice. Please, man. Drop AVP, please, man. Just uh, like that. Yikes. Just like that. Okay, but JW, the armored M4 becomes now Crimson's unarmored M4, and Acor is disrespecting smokes against Fnatic. Surely checks his left. He does, and Flusher was really not expecting that. He had his knife out. Excuse him, what? Yeah, odd, very odd. Flusher's off angle, I guess, is enough, and now there's an AK in play. Mad Lions, you promised me. You promised me. And now they're taking individual jewels. I'm nervous as hell. Refreshes in the smoke. He's trying to catch Flusher as he redeploys it, and he will oh, get it. Flusher, smoke tricks against him. Taste of his own medicine. And Refresh now has access to B. Okay, so Fnatic right now can actually plant their feet, wait for Mad Lions to make the next move. They still have this M4 in Crimson's hands, and Brolin is still alive, but it's just golden over towards B, and he is getting pincered on in here. Refresh has made a couple of steps. He's locked off rotations, but can't oh. go down. Okay, yeah, pause. That's the pause I was hoping to see. So now Golden has to deal with more targets than just the one. Three to find. Hooksy's head visible oh! and knocked off his shoulders. It will be an AK and a bomb retrieval. They can't pressure the plant, so this goes down regardless. And now, Chad, I'll let you take the mic because it gets awkward for Fnatic. They got an M4 and an AK, no armor. They're buying next round. Make it expensive. Give this one a crack. This is a decent shot of throwing Mad Lion's money back into disarray and two of their hardest hitters still alive. Okay, so this really does come down to that shot from Brolin. Suddenly, Refresh has to win the round. He's got enough. They don't have armor, but they have got enough in Crims. He gets the frag, gets the trade, and Mad Lions have lost the one round they really couldn't afford to lose. Yeah, that one right there is going to be haunting them. The flush and nade, the miracle rounds. Two that one now. you can scrap off, but this one here, it got messy. It felt like they gave away way too many liberties, and then in the dying seconds, the final moments of this round, unable to hit the shots they had to. Acor. I'm not sure what was happening here. Overstepping the mark as Mac-10 in the face, both getting caught off guard as Flush are able to course correct the quickest. And now Fnatic, they're in the driver's seat to close this out. The plant, it's great. It means Mad Lions can remain competitive in the later stages of this game. But Fnatic with the confidence, knowing they're winning the gimmies, well, now they can win the gun rounds. They've got a full buy. AWP for JW, AWP for Acor. Somehow we've ended up in a gun round. Somehow, some way, oh. W has opened up the fray. Hooksy's having a rough one. Hooksy, yeah, sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, and one of their best. Refresh, knocked down to 28 points of health. That nade landed right on the top of his toes. Never want to write out Acor, though. He's got his pop flash lined up and ready. Hi, Refresh here looking to equalize. Mm -hmm. He is looking crispy. If they get back into this, Refresh needs a pat on the back or maybe a pay rise for the day, an extra bonus. Give him some per DM to operate with tomorrow. Get some pizza money. It does look like they're setting up for a B executors. They are trying a little bit of a boost. 
Oh, he knocked off my chair. He knocked him off coffins, and this is the B bomb side open. JW has to move over, and look, he needs to get there quick. Oh, it's rare you see a boost over the smoke like that entering B, and now they swing on him. This is great from Mad Lions, undeterred by such a heartbreaking loss in the round prior. Picking themselves up, dusting themselves off. Shush, needs to get out of Careful dodge. now. He's even being wall banged. Tucks in just in time. Crim's nearly finishing off the job. I'm sketched out. I'm sure he is too. They need to be careful, Fnatic here. It's only 1,400 loss bonus. They need to save. They need to get away. And you can see that actually leering out of the site, Brolin gets tickled on up, and that's going to force them to let go of those shift keys and start running as fast as their little legs will take them because Mad Lions have just snatched one away. And that combined refresh and Acor with two great kills after Hooksy's initial death. JW's going to be sitting there thinking, mate, I got us the opening kill. What else do I have to do? That's the impact you want from JW. Your safe pair of hands riflers are meant to be able to close out the rounds. And now it's 10 to 11 in favor of Fnatic here. Their map pick, it is map number two. And here's the initial shot. Minute 42 on the clock as he's gone for a re-pick onto middle. And yeah, the in-game leader taken out early. You are just frustrated. You feel almost helpless. You can still talk, you can still help, but you can't put your body on the line. And that's a great shot there as well. Tagging down JW, making the chase of Roy all that much more possible. And with that 1,400 loss bonus, Fnatic are working with scraps. I've never seen a carpet more conference roomy than that carpet right there. I look at it and I know that is a conference room. That, that carpet isn't sold for anything other than conferences. That was made by a very practical person. They're yeah. not worried about, you know, anything else other this than needs the practicality. To be patterned. It needs to look high quality, but also stain resistant. And so the conference carpet's born. Occasionally there'll be a Christmas party, the red wine will come red out. Wine. You, you don't want any white sure stripes on that carpet. We need a nice kind of a, a dirty burgundy. But regardless, uh, that's the end of our carpet analysis. And we do see the very fast CT smoke thrown out by Hooksy. We saw them use it earlier in the piece. This time it's actually topped banana. He's capable of throwing both. All right, well, while we have a couple of seconds to settle into this round, because Mad Lions actually look like they're taking their time against this buy, if Fnatic lose this round and are unable to save any guns, they're only going to have a $1,900 loss bonus. It means that Mad Lions can actually, if they convert against the low buy, get themselves the lead in this game right here. Be the first time I do believe. Deep nade in the back pocket of Acor. But this round is really going to simmer down for a moment. It looks like a slow default is being employed. You can see that there's still two smokes to operate with from Fnatic. Keep your eyes on Brolin and Crims. They are both over towards A. I say that, Crims is going over towards B. So that utility will be very important to help bolster the defense with Flusher. as a smoke to operate with as well. But these are so sketchy for Mad Lions. It always feels like they're operating from the dark. You know, when they're heading in, they haven't isolated players. They haven't taken too much map territory. Sure, right now they have Banana, but they don't have brackets control and there's 40 seconds left. Nice can take it now. So golden with only a deagle. Last time, Flusher got the uh, the jump on him just by sitting in this archway. And it's unlikely that will happen again. Oh, he did get the timing, just didn't get the deagle shot. And so on the repeat, he is eliminated. Shush. Oh that was a crucial adjustment. That was JW. And Brolin's M4 done nothing. Does dunk Shush in the end, but it is just going to be an AK preserved. They're on the wrong site. And so Mad Lions do collect 11. Perhaps Rush is doubtful. Seeds were rightfully sown. This is going to be, what now, five, four Mad Lions on the T side. We've seen two successful Fnatic rounds, and one of them <laughs> was a ratty nade from Flusher, basically a, a 2v4. Yeah, and that's wild when you think about the fact that Fnatic, the rounds that they've posted have been low A bomb turns denial and a, and a bomb defuse. Yeah, so these, these haven't been clean gun rounds whatsoever. Mad Lions, when we're actually getting and looking at the details of the full buy rounds, have actually gotten the better of Fnatic so far in this second half. So with the bomb going off, Acor, they're just giving the AWP over in case he goes down to the bomb here. We'll have 5 HP. Just want to double check there. I don't want to be losing that flying out of the map somewhere wild. Yeah, I like that they're even talking about it. You can do it in spawn as well. So not too many worries right there. As JW jumps to line up his nade, gets a deep little dunk. And this shot right here, extremely important from Acor to hit that. Because if Golden repeaks and finds any damage, maybe it slows them down enough for those rifles to find a bit more impact And Brolin. You can see his senses were right on that Deagle yeah. beat, by the way. Like... Peeking out and seeing two players not ready for your fight, that's when you know you've done it right. Unfortunately, when it's a deagle, it's not a spray. It's that one single bullet, and it didn't quite find its mark. Now, it, there is a preserved AK in play. It's only Crimson. so worried right now for Mad Lions. 
It would take nothing but a mid push in Crimson's AK. Oh no, these are the yeah. rounds they lose, this Alex. Is, this is, these are the rounds. Maybe not this time. They've gone long. Acor not ready and anticipating for the AK swing. Yeah, big frag. They know where he is. And he can support now if they continue into A, which they are. Oh my lord, Crimson's gonna get them all. Just like this. Double kill so far. Bomb loose. I can't move. 3v3. Roy's trapped. And it is Shush that confirms he's left a little bit of a gap. Oh and my god. The two of them. Perfect like this. The smoke. Flatic are doing it their way. Oh, mad lions up against nothing. A saved rifle. You could see it coming. The writing was on the walls. They got everything they need. Shush. He's the one at the disadvantage. Mollied oh. off, hunted down. Oh. The three rounds that I can list, Fnatic 1 on the CT side, are all going to be eyebrow raisers for Peacemaker. These are going to be burnt into the retinas of Mad Lions players after oh. they do their VOD review yai, after yai, this yai. game. Just round after round, they've been peeled apart by absolutely nothing. And this time, the only save rifle of Crims. This was great, by the way. You know, Crims was such a threat, the refresh neglected to clear his angles. Yeah. JW was kind of hedging his bets on on that. Jesus, <laughs> Joseph and Mary, can you believe the three rounds that they've picked up so far this half fanatic have all come through these little miracle low buy rounds. This is nuts. Imagine if they get through, because the thing is, it's another buy round. Like, Mad Lions still have enough money. They can still purchase. They can go again. Yeah. They're running out of timeouts. That's one thing that is uh, falling flat for them right here. But imagine this scoreline. This wouldn't be close whatsoever. We could be looking at like 14 to 9 at this juncture yeah, of the game. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We'd have been like, wow, Mad Lions T-Side's great. And it, it has looked great, but falling foul to Fnatic rounds. Well, no AWP for Acor, and that could be a real problem because JW, he's on the prowl, aggressive middle, picking on up, looking for room. Well, these nades could be good. These nades could be great. Yeah, just a little too shy of the mark. Trapped in though, Golden chose to disrespect the molly to back away, cost him half his health. Traveling as a pack, look at Mad Lions on the radar. They're almost shoulder width apart, just staying together as they make their way back towards middle, three now towards apartments. And going towards A, it's a scary task. They've you got, got what Crimson they want, They've got what they want. They've got the B players boosting up new box. That's enough to suggest you're going to keep those feet planted for a while. Here comes the A hit. It's a good flash on Brolin, but he still survives. Drops his own smoke for survival. Wants to incendiary them. Costs him his health and oh, Hooksy. He's got him away in. He gets them both. Both of the A defenders down thanks to the in-game leader. Bomb is his responsibility as well, and he's trapped in pit. He's actually dropping a library smoke that will buy them a lovely bit of breathing room. As that one blooms, JW's gonna take a pot shot, but actually just using his strong arms to throw the bomb across. Acor recovers and looks to plant safely. This is gonna be a very interesting retake. Yeah, bomb's going down now, so the 40 second timer begins. There's two mollies remaining, but it all comes down to the avenue for Fnatic's retake. It looks like all three of them wanna be going around the quad side, but they're taking their time. So dipping down, where is Flusher going? He's setting up some nades here. Smoke for Pit. Hooksy completely nullified. The anti brolin smoke. And now pushing into the molly. Oh no! Golden may have not checked his health. He tries to disrespect the molly. Acor gets a save. freebie and they have to back away. Just like that. Madness. Your uncle. Refresh is going to go down to the bomb, I think. It's actually planted far enough away, I think, if he's tight. Gucci. 12-12. Oh boy, just play like that every round, Mad Lions. Don't worry about what you're up against. Assume Oopsie, it's a full buy. Uh, so that frag on Brolin just trying to drop the molly. You can see how much damage it would have done if he got away scar-free. That was an odd death for Golden. Just trying to apply the pressure, but didn't have the health. What do you say to the team right now? Like, how do you go forward from this point? Do you just go, hey, uh, like, we know that we're up against a low buy because their loss bonus hasn't been able to build. 1900, um, it's, it's probably going to be a weird one. So you can see here, it's two MP9s with utility, two M4s purchased on in the AWP. So luckily for Mad Lions, it's a gun round. Golden likes to take initiative on the... Oh, okay. Yeah, and Refresh could not be any more vulnerable. Dead. Bye. Oh my God, two <laughs> HP. From nine to two. Takes the damage. Go wait in spawn, bro. Yeah, I think it's better off that way. Maybe have a cold shower and wait for your teammates to get a couple of kills because you're out of this one for a little while. I didn't see how that happened. Was that just standing in the molly? Yeah, I think there was a molly behind him and in front of him Red and he couldn't a awkward, find a yeah. gap. Power of the Molotov.
Well, they've had to use a lot of utility early here, Mad Lines. A minute 10 left, and they're only operating with two smokes, two Molotovs, and three flashbacks. Why does it feel like this is Fnatic's round again? It really does. Without too much happening, it just feels like Fnatic are about to take another one away. Maybe that's why. There's no clear direction from Mad Lions. Well, Refresh has been an impact fragger, and he's already low, so somebody else needs to step up to the plate. It was Hooksy in the last round. They need someone else to do it. previously, but... Oh. Slip and a miss. They've been able to isolate two defenders towards the A bomb site. It's been a three-man B lean from Fnatic here with 34 seconds left on the clock. Now it's a clear indication they want to finish A. Isolated on the site will be both Brolin and Crims. The rotation coming here, but they need to frag. They need to frag now. Fresh, no longer going to have any impact. It's a double fake. They've pulled Golden off the site, JW2, and then in comes B. Pooksy does confirm that Golden's off the site. Flusher must be hiding in limbo somewhere. And he does jump out just as the hunt begins. Great timing. Roy, despite the flash, gets the frag necessary to get that bomb down. JW responds in kind. Acor's got his orb, but JW finds it, and Fnatic will convert chaos across the server. My god, they just kept trading blows. Madness going on right here as Mad Lions, oof, they're going to slip away again and Fnatic get the 13th. There was no smoke to cover off the cross and you can see what happens when you linger too long. JW strikes and in a big way, plucking Acor out of the sky and that's going to force Mad Lions to use their last tactical timeout. It doesn't even feel like we're at the business end of this game right here. And that's with the plant going on down, they have just enough money to justify a buy. Three out of the five are able to get themselves rifles. Two will have to work with either SMGs or pistols and Fnatic. At this stage of the game, they look like they're able to close. As this timeout transpires, Mad Lion's buy is about to be made a reality. And look, if they were just able to convert one of those low buy situations, this could have been their map. And this is the nightmare scenario. We move on to Mirage. They've been so close. The rounds they've lost are frustrating rounds, rounds that you never should be losing, especially not three or four of them all in the same game. And Mad Lions have done it. They pushed all the chips into the middle of the table. They've gone all in. Acor down to a Deagle, Refresh down to a Tech Nine, two of the hardest hitters operating at a disadvantage. We need more from Hooksy Roy and Shush here. Well then, what do we have here? It's a B finish. And it's flush up. He's getting pressured off the line. Fires off his shot, they start to flood the site. Mad Lions bare their teeth. And the fact that they're in the site without a single body dropped is certainly part of the achievement. Shush needs to get the bomb down, but it's the retakes that they've been losing. Very interested to see how this one shapes up. Whoa, okay, this is interesting. Golden has conceded control. They're out of nades now. And they're gonna retake as a unit. I'm terrified for Mad Lions. It's just one flash in Roy's hands and he's not in a position to use it. They have to win the fight oh, and Acor around it. the world. This is such an ambitious play and it might be the Hail Mary they need. Time, their best friend here. Work your way off the clock. Hooksy does find gold and anything else to delay them would be important. They're gonna get overwhelmed, overrun. Hooksy, one more from you. Acor reveals his position and it's enough. Yeah, two. Hooksy knocks him off the ball. Oh, and a third from Hooksy. It's such a crucial moment. The leader stands tall. Quad kill in the round. He's done enough to le level up the scoreline and look at what it's done to Fnatic. They're sent into the realms of 1700. That was colossal. Oh Look God. at the lineup. All of Fnatic, the black and orange, sent to the Shadow Realm. I cannot believe that. All four of Hooksy's kills I'd in like that to, round. I'd like to say that Acor firing his deagle when he did was yeah. part and parcel of that. That is insane right there. Oh. All four of Hooksy's kills were through the smoke. That is insane. Look at in -game Peacemaker. Later. He's got a wheel over for the fist bump. He needs to get himself over there. But here's the thing. The impact that Hooksy's had on the round where he came out of halls and got two big kills in the four right there, that could be the difference maker. That could make up for all these anti-eco losses. Bloody hell, Hooksy. They can't go down with another here. JW spotted. Sure, she need this. And he's converted. JW goes down. A is currently open, but they don't know Watch that. Watch them second Four guess players themselves. <laughs> go Watch back him. into the B stack. Watch him charge B. Oh my. This is their chance to take the lead in this game. I don't know, man. They're going to second guess him. Just surely going to jump out off the back of all this util. And he'll just jump out to no one. No one peppering him. This is the bane of their existence, these rounds. They are. But there's no way in hell. Okay. 
this one's going anywhere else. So they start their walk into A and Mad Lions will convert the freebie for the first time, it feels. I can't believe who's They've been so spotty. Can we bring up the round recap uh, as this one wraps up? Because you'll see the, uh, the the distribution of Mad Lions T rounds have been so spotty. That's why they came into this with, yeah, look at that. Admittedly, the bomb plant is injecting so much into their cash, yeah. but you can see what that's doing to the CTs. You can see how distraught they are, constantly getting sent back down a peg. It's been like th those plants are what's kept Mad Lions competitive in a lot of these rounds. And remember the rounds that you've seen Fnatic win here. They have traditionally been with one or two saved guns. Now, don't worry about the kills going down on your screen right now. They're not a big deal. We know that was going to be a save. What I want you to consider is the money for Fnatic going into this one. You've got Brolin and Golden both operating under 4K. That's not enough for a decent buy. They can go for a Famous to get utility or they can go for M4s with Kevlar. And then you look at Crims and Flusher. They're just over that mark. And of course, you need to take a time out right now. Discussing your financial options for Fnatic here is huge. So how does the conversation go? Well, it depends on what they're having a problem with. Do we need banana control? Then we need to go for SMGs and utility. Do we want to fight them in the bomb site? Then we can opt for rifles and just to smoke and play out the clock. JW has an AWP, and once that fires early, that can slow Mad Lions down, and then you can play a little bit more late round. But I've already seen a buy-in coming from Fnatic, and it looked like a UMP with full utility. Yeah. It's not terrible to operate with over towards that B site or for the halls position, but I think we might see a mix here. A couple of players going with full sets of nades, a couple going with rifles just to make sure they have that firepower. You can see exactly that. Crims has gone with the M4, Flush has gone with the nades. Brolin's gone halfway in the middle, Famous with half utility, and Golden, you can see, he's a B defender as well, is yeah. looking to opt in with all the grenades here. Very interested that Shush has chosen to keep that MAC-10, and I, I actually can't help but feel that, that could be influential. Three unarmored heads. Oh, it's aggressive. And they are charging down middle. There goes the first. Acor tucking away. Doesn't need to overcommit. Does notice his toes are getting a bit crispy. And no way is he pushing the smoke. They thought about it. And Flusher takes the pot shot. Punishes Roy. And Shush wants to do one better. He does try and find the weapon. Okay, mission accomplished. AK found. Wait, they might not expect this AWP. They've seen a UMP and an MP9. Oh, the dink. JW, lucky to be alive. That was a very shallow shot. The info right now is there's an AWP on B. The best thing you can do is execute B, site, pop and go. Here they come. He fires off the shot, confirms his location. A spray from CT indicates he may be alone. JW brought down to nine before they fire a bullet his way. They're all waiting. He does catch Hooksy. And the spray from Crims is colossal. Fnatic, just like that. They line up and they found the equalizer. This game keeps on going. So many twists and turns. And what will look like a broken Fnatic economy is now handed right back to Mad Lions. A steaming pile of 3.4K. Oh dear, Flusher did fantastic here to course correct again. We've seen yes. a couple of those moments. In the molly as well, Crims you with the double. Bastard. That's so perfect. Oh, and they're just trying to make sure that they're trading off each other and yeah. making space. Mad Lions getting battered down and back to a low buy. This is it for them. It's a UMP, it's a MAC-10, and they're up against that AWP of JW again. No aggression down mid this time. It's back towards Banana. And they're fast, they're quick. Mission accomplished, banana control granted. Fnatic have gifted that, they've held onto a chunk of utility and you can see that Shush is playing over towards Boiler and Halls. They have a lot of map control right now, the Lions, but these mid rounds have been their unraveling. They're low on utility as well. Smokes, three of which, Molotovs two and one flash. It'll come down to hitting the shots here. Don't overcomplicate things now. You've come this far, round 29, things tied up 14 all. Crucial moment here. Great nade, it's gonna really hurt them. Look at the damage it's inflicted into the mad lines and it makes the Famas all the more powerful. Nade could do more damage. Look at their health. He's dunked Roy, Hoopsie, a shadow of his former self. Acor readies the spray, but another double from Crim sends them packing. Ah, oh, brutality. Absolute, unfathomable brutality from Crims. Just as Mad Lions start to arrive, he crests with three. And they are down to the nasty, nasty reality of a $2,000 final round of Inferno. Oh, they just couldn't. They've lined up. That's two rounds in a row they've lined up for him. Yeah, Crims could not have been in a better position there. He's only got 16 kills. It's a shadow of the performance we saw from him against Complexity the other day, but now finding impact when it matters, and this is it. Mad Lions with the force bite. 
And it's going to be a four-man B lane. Fnatic think they know what's coming. They might have hedged in correctly. It looks like a fast A play. Nades towards window. Molotov towards top banana. It looks like they want to go A and they want to go quick. Good reads from Fnatic, but flooding up long. As long as they don't go mid to B, this is all right. Yeah. Oh, they are going mid to B. This is a nightmare. Oh, no. Nightmare fuel injected into my veins. Unless, well, oh! he gets his knife out. That's a catch. Now the spray, not another multi it's from Crims. Here comes the frog. This is just oh! up again. The dunk for Shush. Not like that. Oh, colossal finish, Fnatic. They'll take it round the world into the stack. It could have been so much more. We go again. A third map required to separate the two. Mad Lions, Fnatic, we'll be right back.